Come. And come, my brother. Just give him a chance. The two soldiers. Do you want to drink it water, Brother Johnson? Do you have some water? No, no, no. no. Okay. You are going to be on the camera. Oh. So that so that others who are there is a Polish lady. This is in Melbourne. What happened to her? Oh, you got some pipes, you know? I have. No, it's just the heart get checked. That's oh. all. Oh. Yes. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Give me a hand. When you go on the YouTube, type jcilm.info and search for a woman with the oxygen pipe. Seven years, she would go everywhere carrying that oxygen cylinder she could not stay without that and it was on a Monday Thursday I think it was a good Friday that I was there and I began to talk to her and I said do you want Jesus to get rid of this cylinder and she's a Polish lady she would not speak much English and at that very moment uh, another girl walked in and she was from Poland so I got a translator on the spot and she began to listen. You got to watch that video. And then, after listening to the gospel, when we prayed, the next moment, I said to her, are you willing to remove the tube and walk? And she walked and walked and walked. And then there was adoration for two hours. She left the cylinder outside the church. And she said, I don't need it anymore. And went and sat right in the front for two hours, worshipping God. When she went to the doctor to have a checkup, the doctor said, where did you go for treatment? And she said, Jesus is my doctor. And then she asked, why? What happened? He said, your, doc your, your lungs have been <coughs> recreated completely. <coughs> Loving Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the God. Close, close your eyes, close your eyes. Lord, you are the God who gives life to the dead. Lord, you are the God who gives life to the dead. You gave <coughs> life to Sarah's womb, which was dead. And by faith, Abraham received the power to recreate, regenerate himself, and even the dead womb of Sarah, because they both believed in the God who had promised, and he was able to keep his promise. In the same way, Lord Jesus, when you hung on the cross, your body was wounded by the stripes, by the punishment that we deserved. You took it into your body. And every tissue of your body was damaged. And it was damaged so that our bodies are completely healed. Right now we look at your body, Lord, on the cross. Your lungs gasping for breath. And you went through such torture, O Lord, so that my brother's lungs are completely healed. Lord, I see with my eyes of faith your wounded hand entering into his ribcage, replacing his lungs with your perfect, healthy lungs. I thank you Lord for this creative miracle right now in the name of Jesus and restoring his health and I declare in the name of Jesus this brother has received brand new lungs and is completely healed. Thank you, Lord, that his whole breathing tract is completely healed. His body is completely restored. And with these very hands, Lord, 
His healing ministry begins right now. We thank you, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Is it your back? Come back. You got to heal his back. All right. <laughs> job already. Yeah. Because, because, because I love to keep put people on the job quickly. Please come to the side. What's your name, brother? Jim. 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 And what's your name? Darren. Darren. So to my left is Darren. <laughs> and to my right is Jim. Jim. <laughs> Please, God. Now, we are going to have the <coughs> match. Can you tell me what's wrong with your back? Spine <laughs> problem. Yeah, what, what has the doctor said? Uh, he said I have nerve damage on his spine. Damage all your spine? No, just on the, just the middle center. The center part. Yeah. Uh, and the disc is okay? Slightly. Slightly, but more of the spine. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Okay? okay? Yes. And 100% there will be result. Okay? Okay. All that you have to do is imagine through the scriptures. Now, when Jesus is scourged at the pillar, the Bible says, every whip he took, his flesh tore open, okay? And even his bones could be seen. Can you imagine? Yes, yes. The Bible says in Psalm 22, his bones could be counted. That's power, God's power. Can you feel that? I yeah, feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. That anointing has come on you, yeah. Yes. You are a good believer, praise God. Praise God. Then, yes. the Bible says that every one of his bones were out of joint. Every one of his bones were out of joint. So his whole spine, every joint is going to be reconstructed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now please remember, he is the same Holy Spirit who created the world. He is the same Holy Spirit who regenerated, recreated and brought life to the stinking body, dead body of Lazarus. Do you understand? Yes, yes. So when you focus on his spine, you will find a great change taking place inside your chest. Love does not look at his own benefit. Love always looks at others. Okay? So your love flowing from you, which you receive from Jesus, is going to flow through his hand and through his spine and heal him completely. Yes, and all I want you to do is, brother, don't pray for a healing. Whatever he's saying, just use your imagination and agree with that. <coughs> is that a good deal? Agreed. Yes. Okay. Close your eyes. Say this, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Hold on, let him say, please. Okay. Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I've never done this before. I've never done this before. But I can already see. But I can already see. A transformation taken in my life. A transformation taking place in my life. Your anointing is so strong on my life. Your anointing is so strong on my life. The Bible says. The Bible says. When the anointing comes. When the anointing comes. The anointing removes the burden. The anointing removes the burden. And destroys the yoke of the devil. And destroys the yoke of the devil. You have anointed me. You have anointed me. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. You said. You said. All those who believe in you. All those who believe in you. They shall cast out demons. They shall cast out demons. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. And they shall recover. O Lord Jesus. O Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. For all the strife. For all the strife. Bitterness. Bitterness. That I had. That I had. In my life. In my life. I choose to forgive. I choose to forgive. Everyone. Everyone. With the forgiveness, with the forgiveness, the love, the love that you love me, that you love me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I have faith. I have faith. Mountain moving faith. Mountain moving faith. In me. In me. And therefore. And therefore. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am now talking. I am now talking to the spirit of infirmity. To the spirit of infirmity. That has caused that has caused this sickness this sickness in my brother's body in my brother's body in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you spirit of infirmity you spirit of infirmity I curse you I curse you be dead from the root be dead from the root and I cast you out and I cast you out 
of this body of this body right now right now from the root from the root in jesus name in jesus name lord i do not doubt in my heart Lord, I do not tell in my heart. I speak to all his bones. I speak to all his bones. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Your bones were out of joint. Your bones were out of joint. So that. So that. His bones. His bones. His joints. His joints. Are all aligned. Are all aligned. Reconstructed. Reconstructed. Realigned. Realigned. Restored. Restored. Completely. Completely. Lubricated. Lubricated. With your holy blood. With your holy blood. All the cartilages. All the cartilages. Tendons. Tendons, ligaments, ligaments, muscles, muscles, nerves, nerves, be reconstructed, be reconstructed, aligned, aligned, completely loosed, completely loosed, relaxed, relaxed. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I have spoken it. I have spoken it. I do not doubt in my heart. I do not doubt in my heart. But I believe. But I believe what I just said. What I just said. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is finished. It is finished. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. My brother is completely healed. My brother is completely healed. The pain has left his body. The pain has left his body. And is set free. And is set free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And you say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I receive my creative miracle. Right now, as I look at you on the cross, every damage in my body, you have taken it in your body, and I believe with all my heart, by your wounds, I am completely healed. I choose to forgive everyone, in the name of Jesus, I am set free. Amen. Amen. Now move your back. Come on. Come on, move your back. No pain. Everything gone. Praise God. Hallelujah. Was that easy? Um, I wouldn't say easy. But not difficult. <laughs> but when you learn, is it going to be... Oh Tough. yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. won't be difficult. Yeah, I might not remember all the words. No, I, you, I mean, you, all those words are scriptures. I'm not as articulate as you are. Please God. <laughs> okay, but you can learn them. Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay, how many years you suffered with this? Five. Five years. Five years. And now your bones are brand new. Basically, yeah. Yeah. You can feel it. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Back, so oh yeah. Uh, <coughs> Praise God. Do something you could not do before. I couldn't do it before. I couldn't put my hands back like that. Oh. And now you can do it. I can. Without having strain in my chest or my ribs. Praise God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now, when I called that name, was it a match? Hello? Yes. When we call them in this ring, yes. yeah. is the gospel preached over here? Yeah. Yes. Is the anointing here? Yes. yes. And when the anointing is there, every sickness begins to get tormented. Every work of the devil gets tormented because of the presence of God. Yes. 